Singer Johnny Ray was one of the hottest acts in show business back in the early 50s, and I'm uh, <clears throat> ashamed to say I remember that. Uh, <laughs> he captured the hearts of screaming, clothes-ripping Bobby Soxers with uh, such golden hits as Cry and The Little White Cloud that sat right down and cried. Now Johnny's back in New York, uh, turning back the hands of time. A three-week appearance at the ballroom. You previews tonight, John, and... You start uh, the previews tonight, and then the official opening is Tuesday night. But uh, you talk about all the screaming and all of that. We all grew out of that, fortunately. Boy, I remember that, that you were just the hottest thing around. Well, it was a, sort of a change in popular music, because before that time, there had been Russ Colombo and Bing Crosby and, and our idea of popular song. It was Frank Sinatra and then Dick Hames. And then uh, I came along and sort of kicked that around. And then, of course, later on came Elvis and the Beatles. And I don't think pop music has been quite the same since that late 50s. Oh, it sure has changed uh, worlds apart since, since yeah. you first started. You were able to survive, though, through all those changes. Well, I was lucky because I had the, ex the good fortune of being able to travel in different parts of the world. And uh, I've been able to do that all of these years and sustain a career. O other than that, uh, it would have been very easy if I hadn't for that just to get lost in the whole shuffle. It's a, of course, uh, you have to be in the, the rock end of the business if you want to be a big star these days. Is it possible to survive? in this country doing cabaret work? Not necessarily cabaret work because that's very limited what you can do in the United States out, because outside of uh, Atlantic City and the gaming places like Las Vegas and that there's not really that much for you to do in cabaret much more because uh, unless you're doing concerts uh, you know in different parts like in, in Chicago like uh, I did a, a concert tour with Phyllis Diller and that type of thing where you go into a theater and you do concerts like that. You're going to, otherwise, uh, there's not much nightclub left. You're going to treat the folks to uh, to cry and a little white cloud. You cry have or... to do all those things. That people <laughs> remember that, and they expect you to come in, and, and they expect to see it. And so it's it's you do it, yeah. All right, Johnny Ray, well, that, the the name brings back memories <laughs> for me, Johnny. Uh, appearing at the ballroom previews tonight. The official opening is Tuesday night at the ballroom uh, down in the Chelsea section of Manhattan. Let's go out to Dick Oliver now. Dick Oliver in the East New York section of Brooklyn. The centennial of the French Revolution. Enjoying the best of George Bernard Shaw.